He's dangerous. How do you know that? Who? Ryoji kun? Come to think of it, he was hitting on Mitsuru Senpai the first time he met her. Oh, they got mixed some dangerous Yukari. That just makes him a horn dog. He was? Wow, he's still alive. But having him around has really cheered up Junpei kun. Here you go. Well, it's not like moping around is gonna bring her back. That's right. You wanna end up like Sun Kid. That's true. I envy you, Junpei. <laughs> what? I wanna kill one of my family members. No, well, not family members, but loved ones. I'm a machine, so I cannot understand how it feels to live. <laughs> And that makes you sad, but that means you have feelings? Huh? I don't understand. Mm. That's suspicious. But you don't seem that different. She's a robot. However, it is more accurate to say that I am functioning as opposed to living. She doesn't have feet, Junpei. There are times when I malfunction, but I can always be repaired. Yep. So, if we were all like you, we wouldn't have to worry about dying. <laughs> Don't give her any ideas, dude. Don't start the robot uprising. Uh, sorry. Hey, I don't have time to talk. I seriously gotta go study. <laughs> Don't. Hey, shouldn't you guys be studying too? I heard math's going to be a killer. Math? Psh. You wait until now to tell us that? Well, I guess we should call it a night then. No. Ugh. Nerds. I should not possess the gift of life. Why not? All right, you're a robot. A living weapon is difficult to operate. Pshaw. A living weapon. Let's look at this. However, I believe I understand the concept of loss. What do you think kung fu guys are? I guess. Should you ever be harmed, I... What? Don't worry about me. I'll try not to. You are very special to me. What? I do not know why, but I always want to be by your side. Program to. I want to protect you. Well, good. But the reality is, we protect you, because you suck. I apologize for interrupting you. I will leave you to your studies. Good night. Weird robot. Having conversations with a dog and then telling everybody Ryoji's dangerous. Ryoji Mojisuki is dangerous. See, there she goes again. What is this uneasiness? Paranoia. I am a machine. I cannot die, so they won't have to grieve for me. The hell is that supposed to mean? I must do something. We could, like, totally destroy you. I don't want them to suffer anymore. Um, this isn't... You're not going to hang us on crosses again, are you? Because, um, you know... Fool me once. Ah, she's not going to do that. Everybody's gone. Hey, you don't have to worry about shit. Nope. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure he's fine. Right? There's no reason to worry about that guy. Nope. Just a weird guy who hangs out with Junpei. <sighs> Hello? <laughs> it's me. I'm sorry for calling so late. As for what to do with the new arrival... New arrival? I would like to ask that you perform a full autopsy. 
Oh, okay. Right. If we find any distinguishing features, we may be able to locate her family and... I can't shake my suspicion that the Kirijo group is tied to Strega in some way. What? My company is bad now! Uh, don't you own it now? Because of this, I think it would be disrespectful to the deceased to cover up her death. To well, okay. I will, of course, take full responsibility. Huh? What did you say? They're talking about, uh, what's her name? Um... Ch uh, Chidori. Transmogrified? Y you mean the corpse? <laughs> what? But judging by the post-mortem, we were certain she was... What? Understood. What is... Um... Hmm. I'm sorry, but this must be kept strictly confidential until we know more. What? If there are any other changes... Yes, absolutely. Did her body turn into something? Well then. Oh no, she's the blob. What's going on? The blob. Mm. This is all, um, Ryoji's fault, right. We'll have to wait and see what happens for now. I've gotta be all paranoid with the robot. Nah, doesn't have anything to do with that. Just weird. Well, <laughs> cutscenes out of the way. Let's uh, go to sleep. I think we are gonna need a persona this time for uh, Mitsuru. So, um, no, I I think you need it after level three. So I th I think we're good. Now let's see who is uh. Kono. Oh, it's Mizuru. Okay. Uh, I don't know yet. Are you gonna tell me about that weird thing that I probably shouldn't know about because of my mind powers? I'm omniscient, you know. I know everything that happens in this game. I mean, story. I mean, whatever. on air. Uh, okay. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. That's true, but largely relevant. <laughs> No, I, I think I think it's okay today. I think we're just fine. We're talking to Mitsuru again. You know, I th think you can actually sell some junk here. Nope. Okay. That's a lot of money. It's gonna come in handy when we start fusing stuff again. I mean, I fuse stuff, but like pull stuff out to fuse and shit like that. Stuff costs a lot. Nazi friend. Oh, I do have a persona. I didn't even notice that last time. Derp. <laughs> Except yesterday. Well, not yesterday, but the last. Shut up. <laughs> Earlier in this session. I think it was two days ago. Saturday. Oh no! Now here! I have horrible memories of here. <laughs> this is like eat the whole octopus. Is that what you normally do, Mitsuru? It could be a small octopus. So wait, hang, hang on. You've never eaten an octopus before? Is that normally how they do it? I think that octopus would be rich people food. I guess. Um, oddly enough, we're supposed to ask her to treat us. Hey. 
You wanna buy us some stuff? Nope. Yes. <laughs> Basically, you're trying to trigger her into buying it so she gets surprised. So she she goes all business on it. She says it's not octopus, actually. Probably like ginger, carrots or something. Cabbages. Okay. Yay. Just don't... Don't bring these space ladies here. Uh, no reason for that. And just... Just... Future reference, don't. Because they will... And don't bring Mamoru here either. His cheeks will fall off. Because he eats too fast. As a matter of fact, just, just don't eat here anymore. This place is awful. Bad memories of little kids plotting to run away. Ugh. Intrigued. Yeah, maybe. So this friend died. Does that make you happy is what we're supposed to say here. <laughs> He's always an immature guy. Yep. There you go. He flinches stuff. through stuff. Uh, it doesn't matter what we say here. Um, I'm gonna say maybe you're sad. Yep. Okay. <laughs> okay. You don't have to worry about incoherent ramblings yet. I have to put up with way worse than that. Let's forget about it. That's what we're supposed to do there. No. Please, no. I can't even think about Octopus anymore without having horrible flashbacks. I'm gonna have another confrontation about Ryoji. Dude. Hey. Yep. So my interface says, "Why does that suck?" Um, that's not suspicious. Yep. He's got. He's got. Um, doesn't want to study itis. Got anything to say? Yes, she has. It's putting it mildly. Mm -hmm. And he wears a scarf. I agree. Maybe Ryoji tried to molest her or something. Okay. What do you have to say about this? That's true. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> well, there you go. What happens if we say the other thing? <laughs> okay. Ken. Yep. I don't care. I'm not studying. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know. What did she say? <laughs> yeah. He does. There in his abdomen. Okay, dog. Got any business to do? Nope. Hmm. That was a robot. Let's see if she says anything. Oh, there she is. Cool. 
Alright. Whatevs. I don't care about exams anymore. Not gonna matter. I only really cared in the first place because it affects social link, so. That is the number one priority. <laughs> social links and shit. I thought for a minute there was going to be a cutscene because of that uh, fade out, but nope. Hey, robot. Bleep bloop. Yes, okay. Something wrong? What? I don't know. Now I'm suspicious. It's the full moon. And the robot's trying to convince me that nothing's wrong. Um. What do you gotta say? Yep. Yeah, he is. Was he here? I mean, we have no evidence that he wasn't, but. Okay, so it is Wednesday. Um, I think. Yes. We still have a persona for her. So let's go ahead and just talk to her. To Yukari. Yep. You should come with me if you want to live. I mean, just, you know, come on. Again, I don't think this is actually going to be. An increase in our social link level, but just some points arbitrarily. <laughs> and then I drank a coffee and my charm was like blink. Time to see what's actually gonna happen. Hi, how was your day? Huh. Yes. Hmm. Maybe. Nope. No, I haven't. These days. She was here yesterday, Fuka. What? Uh, maybe they're just like, oh, Mike does it, it's normal. Alright, I'm gonna save. I guess we'll see if anybody has anything else to say. Yep, no Tartarus. Blah, blah, blah. But you dog. Can we go anywhere? Nope. He's all pooped out for the week. Yeah, blah, blah. So they don't say anything good. Doesn't look like Cyber Lady's here, so. I don't know why I walked upstairs, but I guess, you know. Walking back would have the same effect. So nothing happens on the full moon, I guess. Well, it's not the dark hour yet. Just go to sleep and get woken up in two hours. Or whatever. I've been looking for you. So it's the dark hour. And Ryoji is not not a coffin. You, you're robot. What are you doing here? Why are you still human? And is that the Ghostbusters car up there? Oh, that's right. You don't really like me, do you? Nope. Well, to answer your question, I ended up here when I came to my senses. Well, maybe. I mean, I don't know. It's strange. The sky and the ground look so weird. And there's no one here. Except for, you know, the robot in front of you. Something terrible has happened here. And yet I feel at peace. Great. Have you forgotten? Uh-oh. Forgotten what? Yeah. The dark hour. A time period few people are active during. Mm-hmm. But you, 
You've somehow adapted to it. Too well for a human, in fact. Hey, what about us? Dot, dot, dot. Yes, it's all so clear. Now, I understand the reason behind this feeling I sense when you're around. Jealousy? <laughs> no. You are not good. You are my enemy. Dun dun dun. Your enemy? Dur? That's right. On a night like tonight, the moon was full. Yes. It was long ago. Yes. We met once before. The hell? Why didn't you say something, I guess? As adversaries. <gasps> no. Not possible, right? Who, who am I? I'm sure there's no evidence of this whatsoever. Who are you? Robot. I am Igis. The last remaining anti-shadow emergency control weapon. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. Doesn't he know her name is Igis? A machine created to destroy shadows. Hmm. Created to destroy shadows. Repeating what you just said. And you, your true name is Death. It's not a very creative name. You are the shadow I sealed away ten years ago. <laughs> what? <sighs> uh oh. Looks like she's ready to throw down. Ten years ago, the night I was born into this world, I set foot on this very bridge. The sole purpose of my existence is to destroy shadows. For that reason, I was given a personality and a persona. They said I was death, the thirteenth arcana that was never meant to be. And I wasn't in this world for long, before parts of my body escaped me, leaving me incomplete, as I was when I met you. Even so, your strength was far greater than I anticipated. The only possible alternative was to seal you away. And as circumstance would have it, a suitable vessel was available. A human child standing nearby. So I did what was necessary. I see. So I was confined within him. And I led him to my twelve missing pieces without realizing it. And then... I remember. I remember everything. It all makes sense now. Who and what I am. Palladian! Stop, don't be foolish, I guess. There's no way you can win. I'm different than before. A machine is created for a purpose. Mine is to defeat you. I exist for nothing else. It doesn't have to be that way. Not fulfill its purpose. I'm sorry. I'm afraid. Well, now. <laughs> Hey, 
Hey, don't scare me like that. She said she was going to do that earlier. Is something wrong? Well, it's a full moon tonight. No shit. You noticed it too, didn't you, senpai? Jeez, oh, I'm starting to feel like a workaholic. Or maybe your sleep schedule is just normal like that because you've been doing that for a long time. Oh no, did something? We don't know anything for sure. However, we can't find Igis. She just went to Robo Nightclub, it's fine. Huh. Where would she have gone? I sensed a persona, but it quickly disappeared. And soon after that, I couldn't detect Igis's presence. Could it have been Strega? Hmm. Well, she hasn't sensed any of their members, but we can't be positive. I've confirmed Igis's location. Well, that was fast. She's on the Moonlight Bridge. That damn bridge. All right, call the others. Let's see what's going on there. I don't know why I bothered going to sleep. Knew something like this was gonna happen. Son of a bitch robot. <laughs> She's overeating. I guess. I'm sorry. I. You left Orgia mode on too long. I. Remember everything. That's how robots work. Who I am. Who he is. I know why I wanted to be by your side. You'd think we'd get all electrocuted touching her like that. I'm sorry. I failed. What? What happened? There's no need for you to apologize. <laughs> you? This is like hiding behind a truck or something when we showed up. Ryoji code? Wait, what are you doing here? Nefarious things. I guess. She's dead. What's going on? Why'd you break our robot? It's all my fault. Well, thank you for breaking the robot. Akihiko, wait. He's not showing any signs of aggression. I mean, I mean that sincerely, thanks. I hate that robot. Tell us. Who are you? What are you? Where are you? When are- oh no. I'm the same as the beings you call shadows. Oh man. Wait, we knew that. You're a shadow? He just said that before. I'm the embodiment of all shadows. Damn. <laughs> the Apprizer. Born from the union of the Twelve Arcana. The Apprizer. Huh. The Apprizer? I remember everything now. The frightening truth about myself and shadows. Frightening? It's all so hard to believe. Um. You know the truth about shadows? Yeah, in quotations and everything. Yes. Shadows are here to facilitate the rebirth of the maternal being. You're talking like a robot, Ryoji. She will begin to awaken as she is drawn to me. The Apprizer. Hmm. You. You're the Apprizer? The hell is an Apprizer? What is this maternal being? She is a great entity. There is no comparable word in your language for her. Um, there probably are. Ten years ago, a man collected a great number of shadows and contained them in a laboratory. And he duct taped them together and threw them in the river to see what happened. That's where I was born. That's, that's not what happened. But the unification was interrupted, and I awoke in an incomplete state. Not long after, I fell to Igis, as she did to me. She didn't really 
fall. Well, then, yeah. yeah. I guess. Is that true, Ryoji? She knew she could not defeat me. So in an act of desperation, she sealed me within a child who happened to be standing nearby. That child grew up, carrying me inside him. And by a twist of fate, he later returned here. Um... As a transfer student. Num knows. You mean... Yes. I lived inside him. Gross. His special persona awakened. As did the Twelve Shadows, all in order to become one with me. Wow. Ryoji, you're the appraiser? A and you were inside him? That's weird. None of this makes sense. What is an appraiser? It's all my fault. Yep. I'm sorry. Uh, technically, it's all the chairman's fault. If he hadn't been encouraging us to do this, we probably wouldn't have done it. There's more I need to tell you. Ryoji-kun! Nope, oh, he's dead. He's not really dead. He appears to be exhausted. <laughs> Let's let him rest. We have Aegis to attend to as well. Should we take him to Tartarus? If he's a shadow. We'll continue our talk later. Should we put him in a thing? Are we just gonna take him home? What? Okay. Okay, okay. This this is just like, but yeah, and you know that was true too. I mean, you can connect the dots here, but it's just like, okay, yeah, we're just gonna tell you. <laughs> I guess. 